Hello everyone, welcome to ANSYS Tutorial YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss the shear force and bending moment diagram of a cantilever beam. Let me show you the problem first. On your screen, you can see the problem. This is a cantilever beam and the length of the beam is 4 meter and the cross section of the beam is rectangular cross section of dimension 40 mm by 40 mm and the 100 kN per meter uniformly distributed load is applied on cantilever beam. Now we will try to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram by using ANSYS workbench software. Let me open the software first. In my PC I have already opened it. You can see that this is the software and there are several options here. But in our case we will select static structural. Just click on static structural. Or you can drag the static structural option on your main window you can see there are lots of options engineering data geometry model but you can see that engineering data is nothing but the selection of material so just click on engineering data by default by the software the structural steel is the material which is selected but you if you want to change the material you can change here by this option engineering data source at this option you can set any kind of material here but we will leave static structural option structural steel is the material we have selected for our beam now go to the project you can see the tick mark is here that's mean this material by default is selected structural steel if you want to change you can change by clicking this option now double click on geometry now we'll have to draw the beam see the problem the length of the beam is 4 meter and the cross section is a rectangular cross section of 40 mm by 40 mm now select any plane I am selecting XY plane and as it is a 3d interface we cannot draw here so just convert it to the 2d how can you convert that just click on look at face option okay here it is now go to the unit and select meter right now go to the sketching and select line because beam is nothing but a line so just select line and draw any line go to the dimension click on the line you can see that the dimension of the line is 7.29 but in our case it should be 4 because the length of the beam is 4 meter just type 4 on keyboard and press enter so we got a line of 4 meter length right now click on generate go to the modeling you can see that under xy plane a sketch is generated sketch 1 okay but this is a 2d picture but beam in real beam is a 3d thing so just convert it to the 3d go to the concept click on line from sketches right now select sketch and apply here you can see now click generate you can see a line body is generated this is a body now this is a body this is a solid body but we have not assigned any cross section for this body so to do that go to the concept select cross section select rectangular now in our case the breadth and height of the cross section is 40 mm by 40 mm that's mean 0 0.04 meter and height is also 0 0.04 meter right now you can see our cross section is created that is rectangular but just click on line body and you can see that for the line body there is no cross section is assigned so to assign that just click here and click correct one right now click generate so you got line body having rectangular cross section to watch this body just go to the view and select cross section solid you can see a beam is generated now it is a 3d beam now go to the main page again you can see a tick mark is coming so geometry part it is completed now click on model you can see the problem one end of the beam is fixed and we have to apply 100 kilonewton per meter load 
on it. This too will be done at model section and it will take some time depend on the configuration of your system. If your PC is very good then it will take minimum time otherwise it will take some time. Please wait till then. Now it is opening you can see that and this is the final in window. We will get result from here and it is opening. Now it is opened. You can see this is our beam. This is the line body. Go to the mesh and click generate. For any kind of analysis meshing is important because it will divide your body in several sections for analysis purposes. And you can see that the grid is generated. So meshing is done, right? Just click on mesh and click on generate. Meshing will be done. Now go to the static structural. Right click on it, go to the insert and select fix support because one end of our beam is fixed. Now click on this point, this vertex, click on this point and apply. So we have assigned that one end of the beam is fixed. Now go to the static structural, right click insert and we'll apply some pressure over it. So just click on line pressure, line pressure and select the entire beam and apply it and you can see that the pressure must be downward direction that's mean the negative y direction right so now click component here and negative y direction mean minus 100 kilonewton that's mean 100 and triple zero right this much Newton per meter. Okay, just type it and tap enter. Done. Now go to the solution, right click on it, go to the insert, and go to the beam result and select shear moment diagram because we'll want shear force and bending moment diagram. And go to the solution, insert, and again go to the beam result, just select shear force. And in same way, we'll select bending moment also. And in same way we'll select deformation the these are the several options you can select any of these to get a result now you can see a question mark on total shear and moment diagram why it is coming because we have not assigned any path for it because to draw the shear force and bending moment diagram we need a path so how can we assign that path go to the model right click on it click insert and then go to the construction geometry and click on path and here path type select nothing but edges and select the entire beam here right so a path from 1 to point 2 is created right go to the CR moment diagram and assign the created path now tap on solve it will take some time to solve your problem and you will get all result here just wait few minutes to get the result it will be in some minutes okay if you have any query on this problem feel free to comment below right i will answer each of them It is taking some time because the problem is solving by the PC. Here it is. You can see the shear force and bending moment diagram in front of you. This is the fixed end and this is the free end. Again, this is the fixed end and this is the free end and this is the fixed end and this is the free end. This is shear force diagram. This is the bending moment diagram and this is the displacement or def deflection diagram, right? So you can see at fixed support, shear force is maximum and bending moment is also maximum. But the deflection is maximum at the free end of the beam and you can see a tabular data is created by the software you can use at different length the shear force bending moment and displacement is created by the software right now go to the geometry you can see that the final position of the beam select shear force to see the beam you can see to watch animation just tap on it you can see the bending of the beam this end is fixed and this end is free so how the beam is bending you can see it right okay 
so thanks for watching this video if you have any query just comment down below and please subscribe the channel bye bye